All right, let's talk about the Emmys. So look, Hollywood is just awful. I say that as someone that lives like two minutes from Hollywood. Hollywood itself, I mean, the physical location of Hollywood is an absolute disaster. If you wanna see what a dystopian future looks like, drive to Hollywood sometime and just drive down Hollywood Boulevard and what used to be so great by the Chinese theater. And uh, you know, they were all, well, there's many theaters there. And just like what, what was so cool about Hollywood, you know, the stars, the walk of fame and like all these cool bars and, you, and comedy clubs and places to listen to like, you know, groundbreaking musicians and awesome clubs and all this stuff. It used to be so awesome. There really was something cool about Hollywood at some point and really for decades probably. Now Hollywood has just become this woke disaster and then because it's here in Los Angeles with these with our ridiculous progressive mayor, Eric Garcetti, who have, are they sending him to India yet or not? Do we know he's going? All right, so uh, this is fantastic news. Uh, can we confirm that's absolutely official? That is legit? Yeah, it's official. So Eric Garcetti is gonna be our ambassador to India, so we're getting rid of him, which is wonderful. I mean, that's really great. I should've, I should've, we should've had shots on the show today. I should've done a shot right now. Um, well, we're getting rid of him, but anyway, all the, you know, all the policies that these people bring in, it expands the homelessness and the drug use and the tent cities and all that. So Hollywood's really disgusting right now. Uh, actually, my uh, my girl who uh, who does my hair, she lives in Hollywood, and she, great little girl, like totally cool, normal. You know, she lives in a little walk up there with her dog. Like a homeless person, literally was chasing her down the street two weeks ago. Like it's just it's just awful there. Anyway. That's the physical part of Hollywood, but the uh, the underneath part of Hollywood is the way they run the business. And we all know it's just become this woke, disastrous thing. And it's ironic because, you know, they're really here to make money. And you'd think that an industry like Hollywood or any industry that's here to make money wouldn't want to alienate basically half the country. But that seems to be the route that they're going and wokeism destroys everything. So they Emmys now, which no one watches anymore, right? The ratings go down every year. Can we get a number on that of what the ratings have dropped with the, with the Emmys over the last couple of years? Uh, they are no longer gonna have actor and actress awards. We are going to have a uh, performer. It's gonna be performer, good God help me. Uh, we got some quotes here from Fox News. The Emmy Awards are giving nominees the option to be more gender inclusive with their statues. The Television Academy's Board of Governors announced Monday that it has approved rule changes that will allow nominees an option to request that their nomination certificate and possibly Emmy statuette use the term performer rather than actor or actress. The move answers recent calls calls from gender non-conforming stars to make the award system less dependent on pronouns and gendered casting. No performer category titled actor or actress has ever had a gender requirement for submissions, the Television Academy wrote on Tuesday via deadline. Now nominees and or winners in any performer category titled actor or actress may request that their nomination certificate and Emmy statuette carry the term performer in the place of actor or actress. Look guys, I don't think this story is like the biggest thing. Like this is one where you can just sort of put it aside at the end of the day. You know, sometimes we do some important stuff like voting stuff is important. The critical race theory stuff is important, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is this type of story though that I wanted to do because it just is more evidence that they just destroy everything. Thank you for that, Michael. September 2020, so last year's Emmys were the lowest uh, all time, 6.1 million viewers. I'm actually shocked that it was that high, but you can see what they're doing. They're destroying their own industry. And that was making me think about something. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys either read the book. Uh, I believe the author was Bill Carter, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the author of the book Late Shift, The Late Shift. It was also a made for TV movie on HBO about 20, 25 years ago. And what it was about was uh, the, the, when Johnny Carson left The Tonight Show, and obviously he had been at the helm of The Tonight Show for probably 30 years, something like that, that David Letterman, who was at NBC at the time, really wanted The Tonight Show, and Jay Leno was also subbing in for Johnny Carson all the time, and he really wanted The Tonight Show, and NBC was jockeying, like, what do we do here? They wanted to give it to Leno, uh, but Letterman really wasn't gonna stay. I don't have to get into all the specifics of all that. Obviously, you guys know what happened. Leno uh, got The Tonight Show, and it actually did well in the ratings for 20 years. And in a weird way, I, I never loved Jay Leno, but I sort of miss him now because these people are all such partisan hacks. But Letterman left and then did, I guess, what he called The Late Show on CBS. The reason I mention all this is there's a really great moment in the movie where Letterman is like freaking out because his whole life he wanted 
The Tonight Show. He wanted The Tonight Show that was hosted by Jack Parr and Johnny Carson and all the great people before that. And his manager, one of his like close confidants, he's like, he's like, Dave, you gotta get over it. You think you're getting the Johnny Carson Tonight Show, but it's damaged goods. It's damaged goods. And that's sort of what all of these awards will now be. We will do everything based on equity and inclusion, and we will say that we have to have, you know, more black trans winners of genderless categories of acting and lighting and all of these things. But the entire thing that they'll all be going for will be damaged goods. It will not be like getting an Emmy when maybe it mattered. I get it, an Emmy in and of itself is not the most important thing in the world. But I used to care about that sort of thing. Like it was fun to watch those things and fun to watch actors you care about and good pieces of art. Like we need art, right? We need music, we need movies and things to capture our imagination and the rest of it. But in essence, the Emmys are now damaged goods. Hollywood is damaged goods. So all of these people that will be like, yes, this is so great. We'll have diversity and equity and inclusion and there won't be actors and actresses. We'll all just be performers. And you know, we'll, and then 70% of the people who win will be black, trans, Latin, X people with a limp and a lazy eye and everything else. And what they will be winning is not really an Emmy at that point. It will be damaged goods. So that's what I think about that. Again, this isn't the most important story, but it's like, all right, let them, the beauty of this is let them destroy their things. Let them destroy their things, and how about the rest of us keep building things? That's, that's my plan.